Hello and welcome to Blideway Business News. Today I'm joined by Louise Matala of Bridge Farm and Will Muki of Artemis Growth Partners. Now, um, Artemis have just announced uh, a significant investment in Bridge Farm and we're going to be talking about why they've done that and what it signifies for Bridge Farm. But before we do that, I'd like to ask the two guys just to explain a bit about their own company. So Will, if I come to you first, for the viewers, a bit of background please on uh, who Artemis are. Great. Thank you, Tim. So Artemis is a private equity platform investing 100% in global cannabis. Uh, we come from the angle of ESG, which is environmental, social, and governance investing. So we invest both for profit, but also to try and make our companies better stewards of uh, social equity, social capital, and overall performance in the community. Thank you. And Louise, um, Will, as he said, Artemis, they are looking almost exclusively at cannabis investments. That's a part of what you do. Tell us a bit more about Bridge Farm in the round, please. Um, we are the um, UK's largest and um, most advanced um, grower of ornamental plants, flowers and culinary herbs. We've invested over £45 million in the last two years to build the most advanced cultivation facility um, in Europe, um, right here in Spalding, Lincolnshire. Well, thank you. Will, um, now you've made the investment. Can you tell us a, a, a bit about the, the deal, the structure and, and what, you, what, you're, what you've done, please? Sure. I, I think it goes back to uh, David Ball, who just joined Ar Artemis in 2020 uh, as a partner of Artemis. David is part of the founding family of Bridge Farm and prior to the sale of the company last year uh, was the CEO of the business. So David uh, came into Artemis. We approached Bridge Farm as an opportunistic acquisition, given that uh, Bridge Farm was coming up for sale. And while Bridge Farm has this very robust legacy business, it also has licenses to cultivate cannabis in the UK. And so we approached this as a, as a transaction to go into plant-based medicine, to really have a cornerstone for what we think is a global play based here in the UK, and to have this as part of the Artemis portfolio long-term. Of course. Um, presumably, when you were doing your own due diligence before you made the, uh, the investment, you must have been looking at things like uh, the facilities in Spalding, the team. Uh, were they drivers for you? Absolutely, Tim. Uh, the facilities are really uh, superlative, really bar none. They are the best facilities in Europe. But for us, it really starts and stops at team. And the quality of the management team here really surpasses that, what we've seen across the cannabis uh, uh, industry, whether it's UK, Europe, or, or the US. And we feel this is a team that we can grow with and that we can build over time. So Louise, uh, you now have this uh, significant investment from Artemis. What do you think that's going to do for Bridge Farm? So the transaction and um, opportunity with Artemis now um, allows us to return to independent ownership, which is fantastic for us because it provides the team here um, and the business with, with stability for our future and also a great platform for future investment as we start to um, um, build out our journey into plant-based wellness. I think it's a great opportunity globally for the facility and the opportunity that we have here at Bridge Farm. One thing I want to be particularly clear about is that you know, Will has explained that essentially Artemis is uh, an ESG investor with a, a strong track record in investing in cannabis. Um, up at Bridge Farm in, in Spalding, you have got some licenses for cannabis. Can you just explain, please, precisely what it is you are licensed to do? Sure. Um, we have two home office licenses. The first one is for um, the cultivation of low THC, um, effectively an industrial hemp license. And the second license is an R&D license for the cultivation and extraction of high THC plants. And this is all with a, a view towards producing substances for medicinal cannabis, is that right? Medicinal and also CBD wellness products. So we foresee the, um, you know, we are a grower of, of many plants. Um, and ultimately, there's so many wonderful compounds in all of the botanical plants that we grow. And we believe that with cannabis derived CBD and also ultimately medicinal cannabis, there's great opportunity with the platform that we have here at Bridge Farm. And, and Tim, I, I would add to that. Um, one of our exciting features for Bridge Farm is that the plant based wellness category is growing exponentially. And I think especially now with COVID, the focus on health and wellness, again, living better, not just living longer, uh, but the focus on immunity, on, uh, on general standards of living, that plant-based wellness is a cornerstone. And Bridge Farm has so much beyond cannabis that cannabis is a nice add-on, but it's a very exciting business um, without cannabis and even superlative with cannabis. So you're seeing, Will, um, a big 
new market opportunity is that uk wide europe wide for the for these wellness plant based products I believe the phenomenon is a global phenomenon. So I, I think that it starts uh, from a history of really Northern Europe and a focus on phytomedicine and botanicals, but that's now spread to the US. And I think again, in this environment, this is going to be a step up a category for people to again, return to and focus on. So I see Bridge Farm starting perhaps here in the UK, but expanding very quickly to being able to service uh, a European market and ultimately a global market. And Louise, might I just come to you? Um, and finally, um, for the next six months, what what can we be expecting in terms of news coming out of Bridge Farm? I think probably more of the same, to be honest. I think that we continue to learn more about what we're growing. We're doing some great work with some um, leading institutions in the UK to understand and unlock more of the science behind some of the plants that we grow. And I think that along with the sort of full traceability and the transparency that I think the Bridge Farm model brings to the market um, gives us a real unique point of difference. We're certainly seeing um, from our retail customers um, great demand from the products that we're producing, not just in their plant form, but also in terms of an extracted form. So it's, you know, great, great and exciting opportunities lie ahead for us. That was Louise Matala and Will Muki of Bridge Farm and Artemis Growth Partners respectively telling us about the exciting opportunities that Bridge Farm can now start to develop from its Spalding base in Lincolnshire, possibly opening up markets across Europe and possibly even globally as they start to sell their horticultural and wellness products. That's it from Flyway Business News for today. Thank you for watching.